aerobics all style and this beautiful location that we're at today, Fox Studios out at Moore Park. Let's start to warm that body of yours up everyone. Marching in position, settling the shoulders down. We're going to target specific areas today. We've got some abdominal exercises to go through and we'll also include some back workout as well. So watch out for those. Keep working yourself into a march frenzy. <laughs> marching in position. We've got four more marches. One and two. Three, let's take it now into a nice easy walk. Not too wide there. Take it easy on those knees. Settling yourself. Stay with this for another set. Strike through the heel. Sitting yourself right down, pressing it through. Don't think of abdominal ex exercises as the only time where you get to use and work your abdominal muscles. Regardless of what you're doing throughout the day, pay attention to your posture because often focusing on good postural alignment, you are already working your muscles of the abdominal area effectively. You're using them for what they're designed for, to hold you back upright. Your skeletal muscles do that, but you need your abdominal muscles as well. So pay attention to your posture throughout the day, whether you're sitting, standing, walking, even those, your bed, your mattress, if it's getting to a stage where it's really getting very soft and lacking the support, it's probably time for you to consider getting yourself a new mattress because that's all very, very important. How often do I hear people say, every time I get out of bed in the morning, my back kills me. It's probably because your mattress is no longer in a very good condition. Two more. Now we're going to tap change, do it on the other side. So if you think about it, if you're doing all these things just to look after your body, and you're not doing something about the bed, the condition of your mattress, it's not really going to benefit you in the long run. So really pay attention to everything that will give you good support and good postural awareness for your body. Four more to go. And three. Now what we're going to do with this easy walk is do one forward, one bow going back. So one to the front of the room, one going back. So it's like an X-shaped figure stepping it out and taking it behind the body. Let's try that two more times. One forward, one back, last time. Good, and then stay right where you are. Turn this one into a little bit of a march position. Hold it here. Now let's try that one more time. One easy walk going forward first. One behind, and again. One forward, now change it to a step touch now. We're gonna swing the arms, work it to the outside nice and strong through the shoulders. From the beginning, one easy walk forward, one goes behind, two more. Big step. Now step touch to the side and move the arms out. Swing it. Let's do that one again, gang. Easy again. Take it behind, move it to the front again, and behind, now step touch. We've got four step touches and four heel curls. This time the arms come into the body. Let's combine the whole three together. One easy forward, one going back. Easy forward again. Four step touches. One, two. Now single, single, double curl. Good. Now easy walk on the left leg. One to the front. One behind. One forward again. And then step touch for four counts. Left, right, single, single, double. Curl. Okay, the whole thing. Take it on the right, move it behind, right again, straight into the step touches, reach the arms long, single, single, double, heel curls, and the last time on the left leg here. Easy walk, step behind the body, move it to the front again, step touch last time, big slides forward, now single curl, pull, pull, adding a nice little grapevine, little tap and a clap that's the way and we'll come back to those combinations in a few moments i'm going to add a bit of a turn step on the second section of the grapevine if this is too quick and fast for you just stay with a basic grapevine okay one more so ready to go from the beginning after you've turned easy walk one forward behind again step touch big stretches Good, single, single, double curl. Now basic grapevine to the left side. Add a turn, if you're not comfortable, don't worry about it. Again, gang, one more. One, now stay right here and hold it. Now we'll see you straight after the break. 
We've got some abdominal exercises to catch up, so don't go away. Take a big stretch and we'll head down to the ground pretty soon. So if you're on their floor, come up, join us for a quick stretch working the side of the tummy muscles. Up comes the arms, you can keep those knees bent and reaching all the way. One more to this corner of the room and let it go. All right, everybody, let's head down to the floor now. So if you've got your towels or blankets close by, use them to cushion whatever area of the body it's, um, it's a little uncomfortable to lie into. The first exercise we're going to do are the oblique muscles. They run across your trunk. Watch this one. We're going to go one, two, three, four. So moving along, keep the pelvis stable. So be sure that when you take the leg up, you're not overturning the body. So you're not going too far into the twist. You want to keep yourself fairly balanced. It's square of your body, hip to hip, hip to shoulder. That stays fairly still. Okay, so it's just up here, shortening those abdominals. Lift and lower lift and lower. Avoid allowing the leg to sink too far back into the ground so you want to keep it fairly close into the bottom. <sighs> Breathing out just as that knee reaches to the arm and lift and down, lift and down. We've got four more to go with this exercise. Three, two, one more time. Now give yourself a nice big stretch, drop the legs onto the floor, arms go over your head, pull up nice and tall drop the abdominals in, squeeze tight through the waist. Think of stretching both sides of the body and pin the back of the legs down. Moving on to the next exercise. This might be a little bit too much for some people, so your option is to do one leg position. The more advanced, try that with both legs. So the hands can come up to the forehead, there's no holding onto the head with this movement, and it's crunches. Two up, two down. Good, easy does it. Lifting, lifting, now keep your eyes on the top towards the tops of the knees gang so you're not trying to look into your tummy muscles. When that happens you may accidentally start to pull at the back of the neck so where your hands are is just touching the top of the head not necessarily gripping. Sink the tummy muscle down. Now if you're feeling this in the lower back try the movement with one foot on the floor and lower lifting up and lower. Two more to go. Lift it and lower one more time lift it up and bring yourself down now let's stretch those legs go back to your stretches again give your body a chance to recover it's a good idea that you stretch between the exercises between the sets okay. right here let's go again so move back to the first exercise the oblique there's a variation here the count is different we're going to slow down the pace so we're going to go one two down four two lift it up two down four two up we come again and down reach and down again take it up work that elbow into the knee brace the abdominal muscles let's try that four more times take it down lift it up and down once more each way up we come and down last time gang and releasing it here. Big stretch, arms over the head, lie the head down, stretch the legs along, pin the back of the legs into the floor and bring the body in. Now before we move on to the next stretch, let's give you a nice lumbar stretch. So we're going to put the feet up in the air, scoop the hands behind your legs, reach the trunk up. This is called a lumbar stretch and it's designed to stretch the back section of the body. Keep the lower back flat so you don't want the tailbone to pop up. Scoop the tummy in. Good. Now while you're here, you're going to move on to the next abdominal exercise. You're going to allow one leg to release itself. Notice that my knee stays above the hip, so I'm not trying to pull the leg in towards the chest. Keep the foot nice and low so it levels up with the top of the knee. Hold it. Now scoop that other leg in. Take the hand, quickly catch that bent thigh and allow that other leg to extend down to the floor. Keep those scooping those abdominals. Hold it there. Five six, seven and eight. Leg comes in, lie yourself down, big, big stretch, big stretch, over we go with the arms. I can't take my arms too far back because I've got a bit of a shoulder soreness here. And let it go. 
Okay, last exercise to go through. This time we've got one hand placed underneath the head to support. This other arm reaches long. We're going to go one, two, so you're bending into the side of this waist. One, two, reach. The feet position, you're pointing your toes forward. Okay, don't have the feet too far away because you're only trying, you'll only be end up struggling trying to reach that foot. Just to a position you can feel the muscles here contracting. Shoulders remain off the mat. Reach, reach. Over one more to go. Let it go. And then we switch sides. So looking towards the leg you're reaching into. Other elbow out, down. Bring it back. Now again, continue exercising with this exercise. Don't forget to repeat the stretch when we come back. We'll continue with some more plus your back workout. Now let's come up onto your kneeling position and we'll start to work into the opposite sides of the body, the back area. From the knees, lying yourself down. For some people, these hips here, lying on these hip bones can be a little bit of a concern. So what you can do is place your blanket out here and rest your hips on top of it. So that will give you some cushioning to that part of the body. Okay, the first exercise. You're going to press your arms, create a triangle shape with your arms. So from elbow to hand, one hand is stacked on top of the other. Okay, con concentrate on lifting the breastbone off, pulling the shoulders back. And this is a lovely back extension exercise. Now, if your lower back is stiff, tightness exists around that area, try the movement with the feet slightly a little bit wider. Avoid this though with the feet, so you don't want the feet to turn in. Rotate it back so you're reaching long, not only through the sides of the legs, but the insides of the legs. Stay up here and concentrate on opening up the front of the shoulders, gang. Long through the neck. Now this is not good, so if I can have the camera on me, just sagging, okay, this is not a good look. And it's certainly not a good thing for the shoulders, and particularly the lower back. So if you start to apply pressure on your arms, you can feel yourself lengthening and a change in that body position. It really makes a whole lot of difference. Good. Now the next exercise, I won't do it, but I'll head over to Vanessa. Basically, you want one hand stacked on top of the other to start with, and the forehead comes down to this one. Uh, Taryn, you know this one. Okay, the legs together. If you don't have an issue with your back, have the feet together. Be sure to keep your legs down on the floor. Now the head needs to stay on top of the hands. You're going to simply raise your forearms and elbows and come up to a point where you can stay with a comfortable breathing pattern. You want that back muscle long, so you're not taking it into the lower back area. Continue opening the shoulders wide, relax the neck. Now bring the body back down and we'll repeat that exercise again. So come straight up, that's it. Keeping the forehead on top of the hands. Good, hold it up here. The breathing should continue to flow and then come back down and relax completely. Now let's try that one more time, ladies, all the way up. Reach the legs long. Control the movement, make sure the feet stays down, holding it here. You don't want to take it too strong into the lower back. If you start to feel any strain, come out of the exercise. Now return the body back to the mat, and I need you to come up onto your knees to give yourself a little bit of a stretch. Good. The next exercise, we call it the swimming exercise. So I'll get Taryn to demonstrate this one. Lying in prone position again. Her legs are reaching out long. Ready when you are, Taryn? Stretching, you're alternating, raising the right arm and left leg at the same time, and then you go to the opposite side. Now, if you're feeling strained in the lower neck, uh, Taryn's got a great way of demonstrating the exercise. I'll just move her hair out of the way, thanks. And she's got her head fairly low, so rather than trying to look up towards that front hand, her eyes are focused down on the floor. And if this troubles your vision, maybe close your eyes, so you can just keep that neck nice and long. Do this exercise slowly and with lots and lots of focus and control. Okay, remember you're using very powerful back areas here and often this is a weak area for most people unaccustomed to exercising this part of the body. Moving up slowly, don't worry about trying to keep in time with the music, that's not our concern today. Taking it up, let's try that one more time on the other side, reaching hold the abdominal muscles in and then very slowly bring yourself up onto your knees and sit back into a lovely little stretch. 
it may be a good idea, it's probably a good idea, I shouldn't say maybe, uh, to follow your each uh, back exercise up with a nice stretch. And then the good one to do is the girls are demonstrating right now. All right, gang, the next one, the very last one, you'll need to come up onto your knees. So if kneeling on your knees is a little bit of concern, come down to those other two modifications. Float your right arm forward, take your left leg behind you, so you're working in opposition here. Now watch the change, you're gonna pull in for two counts, extend the arm and leg for two, lift in, and bring it up here. So hopefully what we've shown you today has given you a nice balanced workout for your core muscles. So inhale and let it lengthen, reaching it out and let it lengthen. Now let's take you through a nice simple stretch again and we'll take you through the other corner. All right, off you go now, pressing those palms out. Let's start to take the leg up, arm forward, pulling tight through the abdominals and in. One, two, reach, two, draw it in, two. Once again, watch what's happening to the neck. All eyes down, pull, two, lengthen, two, in, two. We'll make this the last one and bring the hand and knee back to the floor and sit yourself back into a nice little stretch. So that finishes off our core strength training workout. We've got some stretches to go through. Please stick around with some great stretches targeting the lower back and hips after this. Now you need to come back up onto your knees. I'm drawing this stretch for my yoga poses and it's called a pigeon toe stretch but today we'll just call it a, a hip stretch. <laughs> Coming up onto those knees. Now you'll need to slide one leg forward. It's probably a good idea that you do remove your shoes. Now it might make things a bit more comfortable for you. So having that leg come out in front, try to adjust the foot so it's clearly out of the way and it doesn't impinge or dig into the hip. Chest is upright. Now if you cannot manage coming up into this position because you're feeling it in the lower back, um, try coming down and perhaps just focus into working into this part of the body. So this is a beautiful stretch. Okay, opens up the chest. You can stay up here or down, whichever works for you. And keep the back leg as relaxed as you can. The more you try and stiffen up that leg, the, um, you'll feel a lot of strain into the knee as well as the hip. So really utterly let go, completely surrendering into gravity. Wiggle your way further into the stretch and release in. Now bring the body just up a little bit, allow your weight to roll right back into the hip and that frees up this back leg to swing itself around, come up on your knees and let's try this one on the other side. So move this leg forward, move the foot out of the way. There's a lot of flexion in the knee. For some people, flexion of the knee can be a little bit of an issue. But I'm sure by this point in time, you would have um, done a lot of modifications and perhaps have a repertoire of moves that works best for you. I teach regular yoga classes and a number of my participants are at that point of time in their life where there's the joints of the body are starting to really cause them a lot of concern. So there's a lot of participants with knee problems, back problems. and. It's really wonderful to see that they're just coming along, doing the best that they can, getting a lot of benefits out of their exercise. They may be very limited with their range, but that's certainly not stopping them. So I hope at home, if you're experiencing one of those situations, that you just get in there and just do what you can. That's the most important thing. Okay, a little bit goes a long way, so give it a shot. Now allow your weight to roll back into your hip as you allow this leg to swing itself around. And then with both knees in a bent position, scoop your arms underneath the back of your legs, chest resting on your front thighs, push the fronts of your feet, give yourself a big stretch into the ankles, grab yourself nice and tight there. Then flex your feet, work them just a little further forward to a position where you can comfortably grip the tops of the toes. And while you're hanging on to them, pull your arms straight and open up the chest. Don't let the feet fall out to the side. You want the feet inside so the feet drawing in together. Good, and releasing it. How about a twisting stretch? So we'll face into this position. 
cross leg is a really easy one to do. Take one hand, gripping that opposite knee, allowing and ensuring your shoulders remain above your hips. You're taking the twist just to the waist there. Notice my hips are not rotated. I'm not going too deep into the lower back. And try this corner, stretching it, opening up the back shoulder. Good work. Okay, and let's go into a lateral stretch. Let it go. Reaching the arm long and releasing it here. Now, if you've enjoyed exercising but you're finding it very difficult to tune into aerobics or style on a, a frequent basis and with weekends, if you're not sure as to what type of exercise routines you should be on to, certainly the range of DVDs and videos that we've got on offer, they can help you out. Okay, so just check out a couple of them and that will complete your weekly exercise program. Up we come with the arms, lengthening, reaching tall, and then allow your body just to rest over the legs. This is a lovely, lovely stretch. It's very, very relaxing and has a very soothing and calming effect on the body. Up we come. Take the other leg out in front. Let yourself come down, relaxing the head through, feeling the back of the neck muscles open up and releasing it here. Well done, everybody. Now, if you can just remain still, do some meditation or perhaps return to some of those stretches. That's all we have for you with our workouts today. Please do tune in on us. We do your company and thank you for your continued support. Take care.